Today, we're going to go through an example of using named entity recognition alongside a vector search. And this is a really interesting way of just making sure our search is very much focused on exactly whatever it is we're looking for. So for example, if we are going to search through articles and we are searching for something to do with Tesla, we can use this to restrict the search whatever it is we're looking for. Maybe we're looking for some news about Tesla full self-driving. And using this, we're going to restrict the search scope for full self-driving to specifically articles or parts of articles that contain the named entity Tesla. Now, I think this is a really interesting use case and can definitely help making search more specific. So let's jump in to the example. So we're working from this example page on Pinecone. So pinecone.io dots examples, NER search. And Ashok thought of this and put all of this together. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's a really cool example. So we'll, we'll work through the code. So to get started, I'm gonna come over to Colab here and I'm just going to install a few dependencies. So sentence transformers, Pinecone client and data sets. Okay, so that will just install everything. Okay, great. And then we can download the data set that we're going to be using. So we're going to go from data sets, import load data set. We are going to be using the this data set here. So it's a medium articles data set. Maybe I search for it here. Okay, and it's just it contains a ton of articles scraped from medium so to use that we use the name of the data set from here and we're going to load it into a hugging face data frame so data files medium articles csv and we want to train split Okay, if we have a look at that, or we have a look at the head after converting it to a pandas data frame, so two pandas. I'll just take a moment to download. Okay, and then zoom out a little bit so we can see what we have here. So title, text, URL, and a few other things in here. Okay, so obviously the text is going to be the main part for us. And what we will also do is just drop a few of these so drop any where we have just empty rows. So that's this the drop NA here. And then we're going to sample at random 50,000 of these articles. And we'll do that with a random state of 32. Essentially, this is so you can get the same 50,000 articles that I will get here as well. Okay, cool. Now for each article, I mean, there's a few things we could do in putting the embeddings together. So we're going to have to create embeddings for every single article here. What we could do is split the article into parts because our embedding models can only handle so many words at one time. So we could split the article into parts and embed all of those different parts. But in this case, we can usually get an idea of what the article will talk about based on the title and usually the introduction. So what we'll do is actually take the first 1000 characters so what you can see here, there. And then we're just going to join the article title and the text. And we'll keep all of that within the title text uh, feature. So we'll go DF head again. Maybe we can just have a look at title text. So let's do that. Okay, so we have this. Now the next thing to do, or that we want to do is initialize our NER model. So initialize any R model. Now, how do we do that? So we're going to be using a hugging face for this. So I'll just copy the code in. We have all of this. So this is a NER pipeline with an NER model. So we have this DSLIM BERT base for NER, name entity recognition. We have our tokenizer, the model itself, and then we just load all of that into our pipeline. We need to select our device. So if we have a GPU running, we will 
want to use a GP, it will be much faster. So I'm going to import torch and what we're going to do is say device equals CUDA if a CUDA device is available. So torch dot CUDA is available. Otherwise, we're just going to use CPU. Now, if you are on Colab, what you can do to make sure you are going to be using GPU is go to runtime, change runtime type, and here, change this to GPU. Okay, so mine wasn't set to GPU, so now I need to change it, save, and actually rerun everything. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so that all just reran, and what I'm gonna do is just print the device here so that we can see that we are in fact using CUDA, hopefully. Okay, cool. And then here we will run all this and that will just download and initialize the model as well. So it may take a moment. Okay, so after that, let's try it on a quick example. So we have London, Seattle, England and the United Kingdom. So we would expect a few named entities to be within this. So let's run that and see what we return. Okay, with this, uh, maybe I need to, here, maybe we write torch device. This. Okay, cool. So here we have a few things. So we have a location. This is the entity type, London. Okay, cool. That is definitely true. Location again, England, and location again, United Kingdom. Okay, all great. So that's definitely working. So let's move on to creating our embeddings. So to create those embeddings, we will need a retrieve model. So to initialize that, we're going to be using the sentence transformers library. That will look something like this. So from sentence transformers, import sentence transformer, and then we initialize this model here. So this is just a, it's a pretty good sentence transformer model. Uh, it's been trained on a lot of examples, so the performance is generally really good. Okay, and then we can see the model format here. So we have a match sequence length of 128 tokens, word embedding dimension here, 768, so that's how big the sentence embeddings will be, sentence vectors. And we can use this model to create our embeddings, but we need someone to store our embeddings. And for that, we're going to be using pinecones, so we will initialize that. So for that, we will need to do this. So import pinecone, initialize our connection to pinecone, and for that, we need an API key, which is free, and we can get it from here. So app.pinecone.io. We need to log in here. Now, you probably just have one project in here, which would probably be your name, default project. So go into that. You go over to API keys and you just press copy on your API key here. And then you just paste it into here. Now I put my API key into a variable called API key. And with that, we can initialize that connection. Now we'll create a new index called NER search. And we do that with pinecone create index. And this index, there's a few things that we need here. So create index. We need the index name, the dimensionality. So dimension. Now this is going to be equal to the Retrieve model that we just created that includes a embedding dimension and we actually have that up here it's 768 but we're going to we're not going to hard code it we're just going to get it from here so get get, get sentence embedding dimension let me let me see yeah this here okay so if we just have a look at what that will give us it should be 768 yeah and then we also want to use the cosine similarity metric. And then that will go ahead and create our index. After it's been created, we'll connect to it. So we'll do pinecone index and we just use the index name again. And then we 
can describe the index just to see what is in there, which should be nothing. Okay, cool. So we have dimensionality. We can see that the index is empty as we haven't added anything into it yet. So the next thing is actually preparing all of our data to be added to Pinecone and allowing us to do this search. So what we're going to do first is initialize this extract named entities function, which is just going to extract for a batch of text. It's going to extract the named entities for each one of those text records. So let's initialize that. And then what we're going to do is just have a look at how it will work. So extract named entities. And in there, we're just going to pass the data that we have it is called at DF title text. What we'll do is maybe turn this into a list. Uh, yeah, let's do that. So DF title text, I want to go for the first, let's say the first three items. Okay, and we'll turn it into a list. Isn't it already a list there? Okay, cool. So the first one we get data, Christmas, Anonymous America, light switch, so on and so on. And yeah, you can you can see we're getting those entities that are being extracted from there. So that is working. And what we can do now is actually loop through the full data set or the full 50,000 that we have extracted. And we're just going to, we're going to do this. So let me walk, through, walk you through all of this. So we're going to be doing everything in batch resolve 64. That's to avoid overwhelming our GPU, which is going to be encoding everything in batches of 64. And also when we're sending these requests to Pinecone, we can't send too many or too large a request at any one time. So with 64, we're pretty safe. Here, we're going to find the end of the batch. So we're going in batch of 64 from I to I end. Obviously when you get to the end of the data set, the batch size will probably be smaller because we probably don't have the data set fitting into perfect 64 batch sizes. Okay, and then we extract the batch, generate those embeddings, extract the named entities using our, our function. If there are any duplicates, so we might have the same name entity a few times in, in a single sentence, of course, or single paragraph. In that case, we don't need to do that because we're just going to be filtering. So we actually only need one instance of the named entity. So to do that, we just deduplicate our entities here and convert it back into a list. And then what we're doing here is we're dropping the title text from our batch because we actually don't need that right here because we've just extracted our named entities and that's all we care about at the moment. And then from there, we create our metadata. So this is going to be some metadata that we saw in the dictionary like format in Pinecone, create our unique IDs, which just count. And we upset everything or add everything to an upset list and upset. So we can run that. It will possibly take a little while to run. May have to just deal with this quickly. So entities. can contain a list. So probably the best way to deal with that is within the function here. So let's come up here and what we'll do is just convert into a, or, or remove the duplicates here. So any equals list set any. Okay, and then we don't have to do it here. So I can remove that. And we'll just call this, suppose batch named entities. Okay, cool. So let's try and run that again. Great. So that looks like it will work. It will take a little bit of time. So I will leave that to run. And when it's complete, we'll go through the actual making queries and see how all of that works. Okay, so that is done. I've just run it on a another fast uh, computer. So we should be able to describe the index stats here and we should see 50,000 items. The one thing here is that I need to just refresh the connection. So let me do that quickly. So we'll come here. I am going to run this again, and I'm also going to run this without the create index. Come down here. 
run this. Here we go. So we have 50,000 vectors in there now. And what we want to do is use this here. So this is going to search through Pinecone. So we're going to have our query here. We're going to extract the named entities from our query, embed our query. And what we do is query with our embedded query with our query vector, which is this XQ. We're going to return the top 10 most similar matches. We're going to include metadata for those matches. And importantly, for the named entity part of this or named entity filtering, what we do is we filter for named entities that are within the list that we have here. So let's run that. This will just return all of the metadata that we have there. So the, the titles that we, that we might want from that. And what we'll do is simply make a few queries. So what are the best places to visit in Greece will be our first query. And we get these titles here. So budget friendly holidays was the best summer destination in Greece, exploring Greece, Santorini Island. Yeah, all I think pretty, seem like pretty relevant articles to me. We ask a few more questions. What are the best places to visit in London? Run this. And then we get a few more. So all I think pretty relevant again. And then let's try one slightly different query. Why does SpaceX want to build a city on Mars? And here we go. So for sure, I think all of these are definitely very relevant articles to be returned. Okay, so that's it for this example covering vector search with this sort of named entity filtering component just to try and improve our results and make sure we are searching within a space that contains whatever it is we are looking for or just making our search scope more specific. So I hope this has been interesting and useful. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again in the next one. Bye.